I just picked up this brand new plasma cutter from Best Arc, so we're gonna get this thing out of the box and see what it can do. So the specifications for this machine, this is the BTC 500 DP. Now this machine has the latest IG BT inverter technology. High quality cutting torch with a quality cable. This machine is suitable to cut all electrically conductive materials. Here is everything right out of the box. You can see this thing has a full digital screen and your amperage adjustment knob right there. This comes with a pretty decent looking torch. It comes with some consumables that we can go through, your ground wire, this is your basic plug-in, as well as it does have a 110 adapter, which I find pretty, pretty helpful. And on the back of the machine, you have your on-off button, and this is your air in, which has your dryer mechanism, so you can bleed it at the bottom. And I believe the actual air pressure will be adjusted on the screen. Now that we have everything out of the box, the next thing to do is get everything connected to see what this thing can do. First, we're gonna hook up the ground lead. Now the main torch connector, torch trigger. Now the pilot arc connector. Now that we have everything connected, we can do our initial first startup. I think what's pretty cool to look at initially it's showing i have 66 psi at the pressure regulator so first looking at it this is our amp control adjustment right here and because i only have this plug in to 110 it's only giving me the 35 amp capabilities it's currently showing 66 psi now if we pull the knob out here we should be able to increase this which it does it goes up to 70. another important feature that's worth pointing out is this bar graph right here if you keep this in the green with your air pressure this is the appropriate for what you're running in the amps wise. Now, if I turn the pressure up, you'll see that bar graph continue to raise. And then it brings me into the red, telling me I have too much air pressure set for that cut range. And again, we'll just turn this back down again. And there it brings it back down to a healthy, safe range. Some other features on this digital display, which is pretty cool. You can see this is set to cut mode. If I press this again, it'll turn the air, just it'll purge the air system. This 4T and 2T difference is the trigger control. So this is just your simple hold it on the cut. This 4T is you click it, it'll start your cut. You click it again, it'll turn the cut off. The third feature I'm gonna discuss is the PT and PA. The PT is post time for post air that'll cycle after your cut. The PA, option is for the pilot arc time so you can adjust that as well and that displays over here so the seven seconds six seconds now i can move up to my post time for my air which is three seconds four seconds it looks like the minimum I'll, uh, this will allow is three seconds so i think the digital display that this thing features makes this the most easy to use and user friendly for a cutting machine we're gonna get this machine outside with some material and we're gonna start some test cuts. All right, here's the material we're gonna be cutting today. This right here is just some basic sheet metal. This is a plate of aluminum, angle aluminum. We have some galvanized eighth inch, some hot rolled eighth inch steel, just a piece of rusty material. It's actually some thin wall material box tubing. This is quarter inch thick. And right here we have five H thick bar and lastly the half inch bar. Okay, we're gonna start off with this mild steel sheet metal and I'm just running this one at 20 amps. This is another piece of sheet metal. that'll come in handy that was a quick hole 
All right, now the same settings, and we're gonna try to cut this piece of sheet aluminum. Here's that piece of cut sheet metal. Not a lot of dross on there, but it should be pretty easy to clean up. Almost no slag build up on that piece of aluminum. Now we're gonna cut our rusty box steel tubing. All right, moving on up into thickness. I now have the piece of quarter inch over here. I've upped the PSI to 35 and now we're now cutting at 30 amps. That wasn't quite enough heat. So now we're up to 40 amps and 40 PSI. All right, moving up, this is the 5 8 thick bar. So I'm gonna have to come over here. We're gonna go all the way up to 50 amps. And then we're gonna probably increase, we'll increase the air pressure to 45. So now this is the half inch thick bar. This is some pretty hefty stuff. We'll see if we can get through it. Running at 50 PSI and 50 amps. Here's a look at that cut right through that half inch. Not bad considering how thick that is. So there you have it, the Best Arc BTC 500 DP is an awesome machine. It cuts through all that material with no problem at all, as well as that digital display made things perfectly easy to work with. The Best Arc BTC 500 DP is also gonna be a great addition to my DIY CNC plasma cutter I made. I'll leave a link at the top of the video. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get one. Thanks for watching, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.